Welcome to the second part of our bumper Christmas gift opening at La Land, where we're all sitting around the tree together and opening the beautiful gifts that you've sent to us. What else does the magic tree have to offer? Golden duct tape. <laughs> yeah, I saw it and I thought I would hold you. Davey got me some golden duct tape for Christmas. <laughs> I'm very excited whenever I see golden duct tape. Now I didn't know it existed. Me neither. And suddenly yeah, all the gifts so are nice. coming with that so now. Cool. <laughs> Beautiful paper, wow. Dear Stephanie and the Lalanders, whilst I have little confidence that this parcel will have arrived by Christmas, I hope it will still bring joy. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. May we find it safe to hug in the new year. Lady of Laland, Aurora. Thank you, Aurora, and yes, I also agree. I hope it is safe to hug in the new year. It feels so strange to be so distant to people. The American Duchess Guide to 18th Century Dressmaking. Oh. 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 Philip, oh. this changes everything. <laughs> this is January sorted. <laughs> I think we'll, I, I thought we were going to clear out your wardrobe. Yeah. In January instead of adding to it. <laughs> to make space for some 18th century right. clothes. Let's do it in that order then. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's now officially it's dressmaking true. January, not dressmaking. Oh, but not January. only dressmaking. <laughs> Look, the 18th century dressmaking and 18th century beauty. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Aurora. Wow, wow. All the different hairstyles and how to make them. So exciting. I follow a few um, YouTubers who are seen Stresses. Yes. And I think they use those books as well. Yeah. Do you too, Davy? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm I'm yeah. going to make something. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to make something from this. And let's have a look at this one, the dressmaking book. Oh the hats. Look at that. Oh, I really feel that soon I will be making my next historic costume. It just takes so much time. It takes a really long time to set aside just for that. It's hard to find the moments. Wouldn't it be amazing to do yeah. a sort of historical costume yeah. gathering here at La Lande? It'd be, be magical. Aurora, thank you. This is wonderful and is already sparking lots of ideas <laughs> for us for the future. Thank you so much. This little box. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. The tree yeah. is growing gifts that are coming from. I could have put these big boxes. You could say he's there. branching out. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is from yeah. Beryl. Mm. Oh, Beryl. Yeah. Beryl, you have sent far too much this year. <gasps> Thank you so much. You've spoiled us and kept us warm with your amazing knitting. Speaking of which, <laughs> Tim, look. Oh, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> it is so cute. He goes very well with your chicken, Antoine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Antoine, have you seen the rest of the box? Have you seen what's in here, Philip? Hmm? Oh my. It. Yeah. It. Well. I've never seen gingerbread matchmakers. What? Oh. Uh, these are really nice. These are, uh, I used to have these growing up a lot, but the orange and the mint ones, oh, there's yes. the mint. Mint. Oh, gingerbread yeah. I've never yeah. seen. Yeah. And there's another flavor I've never seen. Maple and pecan. Wow. Oh, Michael was <laughs> very interested in the maple and pecan. Okay, I'm gonna hold up everything we've got, guys. Yeah. Okay. We have. And open. Uh, yeah. Do you want to talk to me about this, Natty? No, it wasn't me. I don't want to talk about it because somebody was sneaking <laughs> there. Yes. No yeah, way. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. A sneaky little alarm, but it must have been a mouse. Yeah. Must have been a mouse. It couldn't have been one of this us. This mouse. That's yeah. it. He got out of his box. He opened this, took a lollipop, and then got back. That's into why he's. Box. That's why he's wearing a mask to cover up like his oh, yeah, he's still tongue. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, we did it again! <laughs> I don't want to blame anyone, but I know who loves to go into the box. <laughs> we all know who it was. No, we don't say names. Oh. <laughs> Orange ones. Yeah. Look, they're all whispering names to 
I love these ones, Ooh. the orange flavor. Mm. Yeah, they're amazing. Santa Kit Kat. <laughs> Antoine <laughs> seemed quite excited about Santa Kit Kat. <laughs> but this is a barrel. Oh. Is it more? <laughs> barrel, this yeah. is. Oh. Oh, 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 this is Christmas, right? Yeah. This is at not just Quality Street. Oh. Not just Quality Street and Heroes. Oh. No, no, it's more common. It's Quality Street Heroes and Roses. You might think that's all. <laughs> it's Quality Street Heroes and Celebration. It's like Telcel, but wait, there's more. <laughs> you got within five minutes. Like. You think it's all over? Yeah. Oh, I love them. Which one's one I like the best? Quality Street. Yeah. I think I like the celebrations. Oh, I like yeah, I like the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Antoine <laughs> and I were pretty excited about the celebrations. Michael, Quality Street. Yeah. You're a bit of a purist. I'll, I'll, I'll take Traditionalist at Christmas. <laughs> oh, look at all of that. Ah, oh, tea. We have Earl Grey. Everyday twinings and fish breakfast. I really like the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 every day in Earl Grey. Happy Christmas. <laughs> oh, happy Christmas one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Davy's going to be excited. Fruit teas. Look, oh. raspberry and lemon and peppermint and strawberry. Oh, very good. Yes. <laughs> Sweeties. Does it have a hole in it? No hole in this one. I think the mouse only got into the top layer. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's only a small mouse. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Little meringues. <gasps> Mini meringues homemade for everybody. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, two more that fell out. <laughs> 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 that was there was, no, there was only one thing. <laughs> <laughs> only one. Meringues with the toilet. Strawberry and elderflower, David. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and, oh, no, two more things. Ooh. Vodka cranberry liqueur. The cocktail tree. Oh, um, could you look at Natty's face, please? <laughs> 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 I see oh the claw. <laughs> I feel like we should try one right now. Vodka cranberry liqueur. Mm. Should, we, should we just? Why not? Just right. a little investigation. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, 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 oh! Another mouse! Another mouse! Yes, isn't that amazing? Philip, I think you won yeah. one. Yeah, thank you. Another. I'm already diabetic. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great idea. Nope. Here, smell the tea. Would you like to try one, sir? Uh, I think I won't for now. I'm okay. staring at the biscuits, getting pretty excited. Okay. Marie, one of these. is there anything here you would like, Marie? Um, I mean, perhaps. A little wafer. Mm. Oh. A little banashnitten. Banashnitten? Mm. Or... Mm. We share it with Antoine. Mm. No, Antoine's it. very oh, excited no. about the celebration. Oh, no. Straight in. You open the top. You <laughs> drink the liquor. And then you finish mm. it. Thank you for teaching us how to do that, Natty. Yeah. Thank you. Somebody needed to do that. Yeah, you two look very I happy. I much. I have another one, don't I? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> two more things in here. Sorry. Not one. No. Oh but this two God. Wow. biscuit boxes. Oh, uh, Antoine, now you're talking. I think a Malteser, please. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It's getting short, Brad. Love it. Thank you so much, Beryl. Wow. Well, we don't need to go shopping for the foreseeable future. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, because we're expecting snow. Oh, yes. We're snowed in with all of this. It can, it can snow. <laughs> Let the snow fall. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much, Beryl. Stephanie and all Lalanders, if feeling stressed during the holidays, go to the kitchen for some colouring and some American chocolate and a cocktail mm. from Vicomtesse Teresa from Nashville, Tennessee. Well, Natty, you should open this. Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. We have Reese. Oh. Mm. There's a peanut butter, right? Yeah. Mm. Don't touch it for nope. so I want many. Rocky Road. No, but this is insane. This is I mean, lovely. The amount of chocolate we have yeah. is 
Oh my god. No, I was thinking seriously to put an expiration date yeah. <laughs> list. And we go through the chocolates. <laughs> if we eat all of these in one go, yeah. the entire house is See? going to be ill at this time. Yeah. <laughs> we have until June next year to eat this one, for instance. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that way we don't, we, don't, we need to layer up. We don't need to layer up for a winter. You're so right. <laughs> the sensible yeah. thing is to put on a lot of weight now. Yes. Keep yourself warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Theresa. We are going mm. to enjoy this. Oh, well. yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have some goodies from Germany. Mm. Ooh, German goodies. Up. Maddie's lit up. This Stephanie and all lovely Lalanders. This is just a little something from Germany to sweeten the upcoming Christmas days. I so much enjoy watching your vlogs, which helps survive these strange months. And hopefully you will all enjoy this typical specialty from Nuremberg. Lebkuchen. I don't know, Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> all the best for all of you. Hopefully we can come to visit you next year. Merry Christmas to you all. Take care. Love, Astrid. Oh, Astrid. Oh, well, there's two very large tins. They're very beautiful tins. Oh, Manny, what could it be? Let's have a little look and oh, see what it is, Manny. They're really sweet with the birds on them. They're so yeah. pretty. I think Antoine's going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's I'm not giving work. the game away. It's a poker face. Can't take control. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, covered in chocolate. Oh, okay, no. this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Astrid, somebody else sent us a box of these, and I think there's six in there. And now we have six in all these. We now have enough for everyone to have one each. So we can sit down together and have a Lebkuchen evening, all of us. This is yeah, wonderful. Really and the boxes are beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Look, the Robins are wearing yeah. woolly hats. They do look very like that. That is extremely <laughs> yes. cute. And, look, and then look how cute what's on the inside looks. I prefer the box, you know. <laughs> oh, I rather like what's on the inside. <laughs> Marie's Christmas dream just came true. <laughs> Astrid, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, Oh, we've got a letter here. Shoo, shoo. From Meadow Lodge, from Rob and Thor. I'm guessing that Thor isn't a peacock. In fact, it says Rob and Thor, brackets, not the peacock. Ah, thanks for the clarification, yes. <laughs> I was Dear say. Stephanie, Merry Christmas to you and all the Lalandians. We've been watching your vlogs every week and look forward to many more. Your charm and charisma captivated the audience with all the past and present interactions with the local characters you've invited into your home. You've greatly inspired so many people to get outside of their comfort zone and take a chance on a dream, wherever it may be including us. We've decided to make our dreams come true with our own version of a chateau in the shape of a historic 1910 wood shingle 13 bedroom house called Meadow Lodge, wow. referred to as The Cottage in St Andrews, New Brunswick, Canada, not Scotland. Included are some small offerings to you as a gracious thank you for your positive inspiration this past year. It seems every time we thought of the perfect gift to send, someone beat us to it but I think some home crafted ornaments and holiday masks might hit the spot, not to mention the Canadian chocolate. At the bottom of the package is a very special vintage piece I believe is made from home woven silk fabric due to the width and clear preservation of every inch of its use with nothing going to waste. Again, great thanks, cheers, Rob and Thor, not the peacock. There is a picture of Meadow Lodge it is absolutely beautiful. Look, can you see that? It is beautiful. What a stunning home you have. It's really nice. Yeah, and I'm just so delighted for any part that we played in giving you the inspiration to take the leap and do something like this. That just makes me so, so happy. And I hope you had a wonderful first Christmas in it together. Wow, let's look in the box. Oh, Christmas masks, Holly. Holly, everyone. Oh, I love Ooh. that. Oh, I think we have a taker for the holly. Oh, that's not what, oh, yep, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> or, okay, Father Christmas and Stars, pretty good, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have several holly and we have several Father Christmas and Stars. Oh, more chocolates, everyone. Oh, Coffee crisp. These are Canadian chocolates. Oh. We've got English treats, German treats, Canadian treats, American treats. Coffee crisp, mm. thin minces, 
crispy crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Ooh, grow your very own Cinderella carriage. Atlantic giant pumpkin seeds. Wow. Oh, mummy is going to be delighted. Giant pumpkins. Homemade ornaments. <gasps> They're beautiful. Look. Oh, that's really Joy. sweet. Michael, do you want to put these on the tree? Yes. Yeah. Antoine, do you want to help Michael put some ornaments on the tree? Oh. Here, one of you take this one. Uh, there's quite a lot. I'll be handing them out okay. to you both. Outside it is snowing. What? Are you serious? Oh, it's snowing outside. Somebody's going to be here but longer. It's too dark to no. show you. Yeah. These all need to go on the tree and then everyone takes one off and then follow the instructions on it. It's a necklace and each person can choose theirs. You make a wish, you attach the strings and when it breaks, because it's on a very, very, very fine thread, your wish it brings. So when your necklace breaks, your wish will come true. It's really sweet. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So we'll put them on the tree and then everyone can choose like, the one that calls to Maybe them. on New Year's. You make like oh, a New Year's What a fantastic wish. idea. Yeah. Midnight on New Year, we can come and choose a necklace and make a wish with it. Yeah. Oh, this is a little homemade snow globe. <laughs> this is a snow globe with a message in a bottle and a tree. And it's in a salt shaker. To say. This is wonderful. We'll put these on the table yeah. next Christmas. They're so pretty for the Christmas table. We can just put them on the table in the upcoming days. Yes, yes, we can carry on using them. And then we have a lot of decorations. Do not open until Christmas. What is it? It's it. They're, they're all wooden blocks mm -hmm. with various Christmas prints on. Oh, nice. Do not open until Christmas. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, I like this one, Paris, yes. Christmas Greetings, Making Spirits Merry and Bright, that one should go on the cocktail tree. Nice. Tis the season, <laughs> yes, that's good. Shall we put? Great pun. Yeah, Making Make spirits, spirits Merry and Bright. <laughs> yeah, good have yes, here. here we go, all of those, your hands on to Natty. Um, another Paris one. It's the Eiffel Tower. Oh. No. Jingle all the way. And we keep, also for the, um, keep the spirits for the cabinet. other one. Jingle all the way is for the cocktail cabinet too. Yeah. Okie dokie. Beautiful. And there's, there's more to open here, unbelievably. Oh. What is this? <gasps> the most beautiful mask. Nice. And you can tighten it, which will be oh amazing for you. <laughs> oh. a tiny little face. Well, That's this what... is the most glamorous mask mm -hmm. I have seen. Yes. Yeah. This is this is a New Year's Eve mask, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I won't be going out on New Year's Eve, sadly, but if I were to go out, this is the one I would choose. That would be your attire. Incredible. Wow, it's a work of it's art. So the fabric is amazing. Imagine Thank curtains and so that. so much, right? Be beautiful. <gasps> Wow. Oh. oh my goodness. This is. Well, this is you can That's do, amazing. You can do something for. Oh, oh no, I think it's a. Uh, oh really my nice. goodness. It's a kimono. Oh, it's incredible. How do you call it? Is it yeah. sari? No. no. I think it's a kimono, right? Circa, it's a Chinese um, style. Circa 1920s, an example of Chinese woven silk or home loom. Home loom. <laughs> using every inch of fabric. This, it's wow. just too beautiful for words. It is incredible. It's sumptuous. It's really beautiful. Just beautiful. I mean, it should really just go on the wall because. I think you should try it on. So lovely. Yes, I'll put it on. I, I feel like I shouldn't wear it. It's too much of a work of art. Look at the fabric. It's amazing. Gorgeous. It's too beautiful to wear. Nevertheless, I will put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's so beautiful. I feel as I'm in the 1920s and I'm going to sort of Gatsby cocktail party. I just need lots and lots of pearls. It's so beautiful. And I love that loose fit as well feels very glamorous, but 
I don't even want to sit down in it in case I damage the fabric. I think it's a dress for standing and I need much higher heels as well. Yes. What do you think, Michael? Gorgeous. Shall I gingerly sit down? Gingerly. Ginger. Gingerly sit down. Yes, I need, need a martini, martini glass in my yes. hand. This is the most beautiful, beautiful dress. I cannot get over how stunning it is. It's, it's a work of art. It's, it's not a dress, it's a work of art. This is only going to be used for the most precious occasions. I absolutely love it. I might even put it against the wall mm. in my dressing room so okay. that it's a work of art on the wall. Rob and Thor, not the peacock. Thank you so, so much. This is magnificent and I love our decorations. You put such care and thought into your gift. Really, thank you. Thank you from all of us. Ooh, goodies for everyone. Mm. And a special gift for Steph. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's from Sven. Thank you so much, Sven. I've loved the photos that you've sent to me of the beautiful restoration that you did of that bedroom in the castle. Just amazing. Dear Stephanie, a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and all your friends at Lalande. Here are some sweets I love for you and all the people at your chateau. The special gift for you is a bowl by Meissen with the famous swan pattern. Oh. oh Sven, I can't believe it. The former owner of Nischwitz Castle, Le Comte de Breul, ordered it in 1738 when he was the chef of the manufacture. It became the largest service they ever produced, over 2,400 pieces. Oh my. Only some pieces survived the Second World War in the Dresden Zwinger. I named this bowl the Bowl of the Missing Lake because of your lake. Mm. Stay healthy and enjoy. Yours, Sven. I can't wait to see that. Wow! And look at all of these German goodies for everybody. A milk jumbo? Oh, wow. oh yes, yes, he does want a milk jumbo. <gasps> Lint Christmas no. tree chocolates. Oh, you're very interested just, in those I'm too. Just, um, just taking a look. Blätter Cortant Kugel. Chocolate sticks. These look really good. Oh, and then marzipan, look. I relieve you of these. Edel marzipan Baumstamm. Oh, that looks good. Philip, you speak German, so I suspect yeah. you understand what I'm saying. I have no idea. Baumstamm what I'm saying. is the tree trunk. Uh, oh, tree trunk. Chucky tree trunk. Yes. Nice. Oh. Look at this, Natty. I think I know who this is from. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky and Lynn. Yes. Superb rider. Yes. Funny story um, Steph's a certified German tour guide. <laughs> He found oh, a certificate gosh. from my school saying that I, um, my German is absolutely fluent enough to be a tour guide in German. Yeah. I speak a word of German. I do not understand what happened. Michael looked a bit baffled when he found that. Definitely, we did see No idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I can give you a tour around Germany if you Great. <laughs> I want to be leaving. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. I love the wrapping paper as well. It's very I know. elegant. It was hard for me to hide that from you. Oh, it was. I don't know how you managed it, Natty. I'm too excited. Just also next to the tree, how beautiful it looks with the sparkling stars. It's gorgeous. Oh my. Sven sent me the most beautiful mice and tray for my birthday, which I keep my jewellery in on my dressing table. Which one is it? It's the white one with the dragons. It's so beautiful. I'll show you. Eric. It's a rectangular tray, and you only see the dragons if you look carefully, oh. because they're sort of milky inside the white. But it's beautiful. Ooh. I'm always so scared when I unwrap porcelain that's been sent so far. Mm. Doesn't feel broken. Can't hear any rattling. Oh, it's insanely beautiful. Wow. I'm speechless. Yeah. I'm speechless and you can't see everyone else, but everyone is craning <laughs> around in here to have a look. Look at the swans and you see a little tower in the background. Mm. All the different swans, there's a stork. And here is the lake with the swirls of water. That's incredible. Shells. A stork has caught a fish here. 
And this used to be an entire service. They made a service of two and a half thousand yeah. pieces for the owner of Nischwitz Castle in Germany back in the 18th century. And this is a reproduction? Yeah, so they're one? still producing this mm. now. This means such a lot to me. Sven, thank you. And also, I love the fact that this is a symbol of the lake coming back. Yeah. And when it does come back, we will put water into this <laughs> symbolically. No, we shall put champagne into this ah. symbolically when the lake comes back. Sven, I love it. This is going to my bedroom. Thank you very, very, very much. It's precious and I could look at it for hours and hours as if we didn't have enough sweet treats. <laughs> in this yes. house. Ooh, look, yeah. getting all excited. That's excited. Oh, just going to uh, have a look mm. at what's come from the Collins Street Bakery. Collins Street Bakery baking since 1896. This is from Texas, isn't it, Natty? Yeah, the message is in the, in the box. Merry Christmas to the gang from Count Dan Ruggiero. I cannot believe you sent a Christmas cake from America. How amazing is this? And look, it's like the Wild West on the front. Ooh, it's like Bonanza. Oh, mm. yeah. I reckon they know how to make Christmas cakes there. Look at that! Look at that. Oh, oh hello. wow. Oh. Hi. Oh, yes. Hi, Colin. Wow. <laughs> I think this should be d dessert tonight, don't you? We should yeah. actually have this this evening. <laughs> Your face! You're so happy! I think Nick and I will be seated far away from that. <laughs> yeah, whilst we have a pecan nut frenzy at the other Sounds side of the table, great. Philip. <laughs> I'll be playing chess with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> we bake our cakes true to the old world traditions brought to Corsicana, Texas from Riesbaden, Germany in 1896 by master baker Gus Wiedemann. At the turn of the century, an elegant hotel occupied the top floor of the thriving bakery. Many famous hotel guests, including Will Rogers, John McGraw, Enrico Caruso, Gentleman Jim Corbett and John Ringling, enjoyed their fine hospitality. In fact, the bakery was thrust into the mail order business when Mr Ringling's circus troupe, upon tasting the luscious deluxe, is this one? asked to have these native Texas pecan cakes sent to family and friends throughout the world. And so began the gift tradition that continues to this day. Oh. Love that. We'll be enjoying that tradition tonight. Thank you so much, Dan. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, fantastic. Marie, there are gifts for you. Ooh, wow. Yeah, come and join us. Okay, right. I'm just opening this one present and then it'll be your gifts. Wow. Okay, Stephanie, I, I can guess what this is because Ooh. I can already see a lampshade <laughs> shape and the most beautiful lamp imaginable here. So I'm I'm so excited. Also the most beautiful paper. Is Look at some water lilies. Yes. And inside the envelope too. Wow. Steph, Mummy, and our friends at Laland. I'm sending you this lamp because I know you'll love it the way I do. You've brought so much joy and laughter to my sons and I. I am an artist and made this lampshade specifically for this base for myself years ago. It took me over two months to create the shade. Oh I know it will go well with your other blue and white art and porcelain. My wonderful son and his husband are having a house built with an apartment in it for me. How lucky you oh. are. I've given away everything I could. I'm excited for my new adventure with them. Please stay safe and wear your masks. Sally, Aka, Mama. Oh. Mama, if you don't mind me calling you that. <laughs> Thank you. I cannot believe you're sending something so precious that you worked at for so long. I uh, am very, very, very excited to open this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. oh the room is going wild. <laughs> oh, wow. It is so beautiful. Wow. Wow. Oh. Gosh. It's perfect. Yes, it is. It, it's it's beyond beautiful. I can't wait to see the lampshade. Oh, does that go onto this? Yeah. Thank you for that. Oh, wow. I can see a little bit of the lampshade going very gingerly with the scissors. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see the brown at the top. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my. Oh, oh look. Really yeah. beautiful. I'm going to wow. put. Yeah. The whole top piece comes off, I'm guessing. I mm -hmm. think so, yeah. You can imagine it would look so pretty with the lighting. Mm. <gasps> with all the crystals. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. 
I think that's oh, very almost Victorian. This is one of the most beautiful lamps I've ever seen. Mm. And that's handmade. Yeah. Handmade lampshade. Mm. Sally, it is spectacular. You're so, so talented. I'm going to absolutely treasure it. And how lucky you are to be moving in with your sons. You must be very, very loved indeed. And this is such a beautifully kind thing that you have done. Thank you from all of us. It's beautiful. I cannot wait for my mother to get back and yeah. see this. She will absolutely Put it in her room. love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> mummy. <laughs> it's not for your apartment. It must be seen. It, it's beautiful. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so, so much, Sally. Thank you. Mary has joined us. We have her in the hot yes. seat because <laughs> there are a couple of gifts for you, Mary, oh, that wow. arrived from Wendy. Wendy? Yes. Wow. Thank you, Wendy. How cute. Look what Wendy sent me. Hot water bottle. Oh my god. That's so perfect for you. And this has got shortbread in it for my travel. <laughs> you love shortbread. <laughs> wow. That's so exciting. Oh. <laughs> oh, you should see it to oh. Phillips. And he's blonde like you. <laughs> so cute. Oh my. Where's yours, Philip? Okay. You should look at them together. It's like a little troll. It's you. Yeah. And actually yours look like you, Philip, had the same yeah. hair as you. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this might not have been an accident. No. <laughs> Well, you don't have that kind of beer, but... No, no, because no. <laughs> I trim it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's very cute. Adorable. All right, I really Are like they trying it. to pair us up, Marie? What? <laughs> Shipping! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Where should we sit together? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's so sweet. sweet. Oh, it's gorgeous there. And again, yeah, matching with Philip. Really yeah. <gasps> right, because what only the both... different person. Yeah. Okay, Philip, you've got to come and show your bridge. <laughs> <This is, laughs> what is this about the two of you matching gifts today? Uh, is, Mine was some dog. Is Wendy trying to tell us something? Or... No, because this was two different, different people. That's oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's so cute. Pretty. I love, it. I love puppies. And it really suits you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Wendy. <laughs> What is this box? I thought we finished. I thought that was it. So Natty told me that this oh. one is also We couldn't put right. all together under the tree, so... So this I is also from Wendy? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. You're going to help me, Matty. All right. Okay, I'll put okay. this here. Cause... We'll put you here. Okay. There you go. Okay. A box. A box. Two like that. Let's open those. Oh, this side. Okay. The elusive Nick oh. is in the background. <gasps> and I think he's going to be very interested in me. <laughs> very interested. Ready? Antoine's going to try and get there before you. Go for it. <laughs> 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 well, there's a little scroll. Have you got a scroll? Yeah, I okay. have. Great, let's look at our scrolls. All right. The Unfunny Jester by Shel Silverstein. The Jester? Maybe we should open it. Maybe this is the Unfunny Jester. Let's have a look. It is. This is too cute for words. <laughs> this is the jester. It's just the cutest oh, thing ever. What is it? Okay, it is a jester. What is a jester? It is the person at court who used to tell jokes in medieval times. See? Ooh. Can you show it to Natty up close? <laughs> <laughs> And it says, the jester told a silly joke. The king just frowned. No one spoke. The jester sang a funny song. The queen asked, must it last so long? The jester did a funny leap. The prince and princess fell asleep. The king looked mad and asked the fool, have you been to funny school? Yes, said the jester. And he hesitated, but I never graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me with my bad joke. Yes. <laughs> okay, Philip, this is you. <laughs> this is how I feel we can like call this. him Philip. We shall call him Philip. Yes. <laughs> what, Philip here? Who do you have? I have the hedgehog. <gasps> oh, 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 Philip's oh, face oh. lit up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> what is he holding? Um. A 
sled. Oh. Holding a sled with wood on it. <laughs> coming to stoke the fire. Oh. The hedgehog is a little beast who likes a quiet vid where he can feed his family on proper hedgehog food. He has a funny little snout that's rather like a pig's with which he smells like us, of course, but also runts and dinks. <laughs> he wears the queerest prickle coat instead of hair or fur and only has to curl himself to bristle like a burr. He does not need to battle with or run away from foes. His coat does all the work for him. He pricks them on the nose. <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yeah, Antoine is beautiful. <laughs> I think we must keep the boxes yes. to store the, that yeah. for next year. It's just too lovely. Here's a tasty tablet from Scotland. Mm. I guess this is sort of a fudge. Oh, Nicholas Larkin. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think Nicholas is going to be very excited at the thought of fudge. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Oh, I'll just put that over. Yeah, there. just Here pop that go. over that side <laughs> of the room. <laughs> Ooh, another. Oh, another Ooh, scroll. Yes. Okay. What does the squirrel say? The squirrel! Oh. 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 It's the best day of his wait, 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 I need to do it. I've already claimed this one. I've got another hand free. Oh my! Oh, this is amazing! It's amazing! What's that one? It's like a squirrel. It is. And the is poem is. <laughs> The Squirrel by John B. Tab. Who combs you, little squirrel? And do you twist and twirl when someone puts the papers on to keep your tail in curl? And must you see the dentist for every tooth you break? And are you apt from eating nuts to get the stomach ache? <laughs> It's too cute. Yeah, too cute. Philip's basically going insane yes. right now. Just, just, just have a little look. There you go. <laughs> Look at his little whiskers. And it's got nuts. Look at that bowl with nuts. And a little acorn. And... He's also got a sledge. Yeah. This is brilliant. <laughs> look at his eyes. Like, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> He, he means business. Yeah. Yes, he does. He does mean business. <laughs> and here we have... Oh, what? Is it snow? Or... No, you know this? Oh, <gasps> It's no. the refills for my oh. travels. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So helpful. Oh. And epic. <laughs> Thank you so much. And there's more of the little gummy bears inside for everyone too. <laughs> that was a beautiful box of goodies and you're so talented. Yeah. I mean, the hedgehog, the squirrel, Philip in felt form. <laughs> so it's glorious. And Mummy. <laughs> that was it, yeah. They're, they're gorgeous. <laughs> Wendy, thank you so much. Thank you. And we are talking about goodies, right? Yes, we're talking about goodies. How do you feel now that we have Marie here? Something yes. from Norway. Uh, is this our final <laughs> gift of the day? It's the final gift. Oh, of the it's day. Norwegian! Yes. <laughs> finally. <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> For a Norwegian present. <laughs> no, because she knows about this box. No, I for see. a long time. We will see more Something now. Something makes Wait. me think you knew about some of the other boxes too. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so you know something about this box, do you? What? You've been having a little hunt. I was just checking for um food that needed to be stored in the fridge. Oh, that's um, what you were doing. And to my pure joy, I found this, which is Brunost. <laughs> it's Brunost. It's, Brunost. it's brown cheese. It's so beautiful. I've grown up with this brown cheese yeah. and I've actually been wanting to eat this brown cheese for ages, but uh, obviously we're in France and yeah. we don't find it here. I, it um, I must admit, I've already started eating it, Irene, um, <laughs> <laughs> because it's so good. I'll show you how it looks like. It's stunning. Yeah. We all had a little nibble. Yes. Uh, and it's really delicious and but just beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Isn't that insane? Wow. It was pressed, I think you said. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's pressed. Cheese. Yes, it's cheese. What does it look like <laughs> on the top? Hmm? What does it look like Eaten. on the top? 
like missing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have been eating some because um, yeah, I've been craving it for ages. And, and this is from Irene who sent us those stunningly knitted jumpers. I got a skirt, then hats, scarves, shawls. Yeah. Beautiful box of goodies. And you've also sent this, and I have not seen what is in here. <clears throat> Somebody else has. <laughs> Please enjoy some Christmas treats from Norway. Love from Irene. <laughs> all right, let's have a look. Right. Mm. So all of these items are very familiar to me, yes. I would think. You will um, have to tell us about them. Yes. So this box is the Royal um, Confection, um, named after wow. King he Håkon, or Haken. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Håkon. And um, uh, it's from Freya, which is a Norwegian chocolate fa factory mm. and um, it's quite a tradition to have this and give this away yes. during Christmas uh, mm. or in grand birthday parties so um, yeah it's very oh, nice confectionery here. Maybe we should have that New Year's Eve. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Something special no. on New Year's Eve. <laughs> we have Norwegian themed New Year's Eve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right how about you pick up okay. something? It's in here. Ooh. This might be jam. Yes. <laughs> See, this is Mulder. Mulder, 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 Mulder. Ah, of course, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you going to tell us what Mulder, Mulder, Mulder? Not is? Uh, completely sure um, what they are in um, English. The type of berry. The type of berries, and you often mm. can pick them up um, higher in the mountains. And uh, my grandfather loves this. Uh, Maybe they could be cloud berries. Maybe they're Maybe. orange, Maybe. yellow Maybe. berry. Mm. <laughs> yellow no. raspberry. No. no, they're not raspberries. Lingonberries. Lingonberries. Maybe. Sure. And this is Titaba. 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 Lingonberries. <laughs> oh, that is lingonberries. So that's not lingonberries. No. By process of elimination. <laughs> I'm sticking with cloud berries. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you have with Christmas dinners and uh, also on a bread, slice of bread. Well, we're it. having turkey yep. for New Year because our Christmas turkey arrived on Boxing Day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having it for New Year instead, so we can have yeah. that with it. Yeah, okay. And this okay. is another type of berry. Sulbar. <laughs> Which is? Oh, oh, you have it in the garden. And these are red currants. Black currants. Yes. <laughs> black currants by process ah. of elimination. <laughs> it is a black currant. <laughs> This is a red currant. No, this is um, no, it's not a red currant. <laughs> cranberry. Cherries. Oh, cherry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't we know don't know what the previous one was. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just try them. Um, this is yeah, we'll shishibad. Shishibad is cherry. Oh, these look yeah. amazing, all of them. Ooh, we've got sardines. Oh, Yay! <laughs> Norwegian King Oscar sardines. Extra virgin <laughs> olive oil. Oh, yeah. I love sardines actually. Okay, what else is in this box? Oh, oh that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we should show this to everyone. Oh, really? Yeah. You think that should be more of a private gift? Yes. <laughs> so, this is uh, Nidaros and Nidal Favorite. Um, so, it's a Christmas collection of marzipan. And oh, cute! Chocolate. Uh, marzipan pig! Yes. Christmas tree has been the theme actually yes. of this Christmas. Yeah. It's literally on the mug, yeah. Christmas pig on the yeah. mug. <laughs> this is very good. Oh. <laughs> Cacao! <laughs> so this is um, how you make uh, hot chocolate. So you mm. just mix it up with yes. meal. Without salt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, without salt. <laughs> and another one. Is this cacao as well? Yeah, yeah. Same one? No. Oh, no, this no, is this different. Is... This looks pink. Yes, it's another berry. A berry drink. Yeah, it's, it's very really nice, nice, actually. It's the same mm. as this one. Very nice. Sulbet. Still like looking a... quite like a blackberry. Yeah. Uh, blackberry. No, um, black currant. Ah. Blackberries are, look like raspberries, only they're black. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so black, black currant. currants look like. Isn't that this. the same as? It must be black currants. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more marzipan. Oh, it's a massive marzipan pig! 
<laughs> so this is a tradition. Um, on the twenty third of uh, December, yes. we eat uh, something uh, which is um, like rice pudding, warm rice yeah. pudding, mm -hmm. and we have an almond hidden in one of the bowls. And whoever gets the bowl with the almond in gets the marzipan. <laughs> so we should do that next year. Yeah, that's so a lovely tradition. Like a tradition winner winning the prize. Winner marzipan pig. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to open this one. That looks like a big one. Yes. Ooh. Oh, this is flapra. Ooh, nice. That looks delicious. So um, it's some. It's a very thin. Um, um, what do you call it? Um, hard pastry, mm. and you eat it with soups and like a vegetable bouillon soup, mm. very traditional, or um, lapskous, <laughs> which is a vegetable stew with uh, meat in mm. it. Yeah, so I could try to make it with you, for you all. Um, yes. yes. Yeah, <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. And sounds you, delicious. Yeah, and you like put butter cracker? on it. Hmm? Is it like a cracker? Yeah, oh, yeah, a little bit like... Yeah. So many Norwegian goodies. goodies. I know. Norway's come to us. I was about to say, it was very good to go to Norway. Oh, I like this. This is uh, mold wine. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we needed last night. <laughs> yes. Mm. This is something you all can have because I don't particularly, I'm not a particular fan, but I know that you would probably like this. This is chocolate pudding. Oh yeah, we have a lot of takers in yeah. A lot of takers. Yeah. Cheese slice of the brown cheese. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This is, Ooh. I think this is mousse sausage. Mousse salami? Yeah, yeah. Mousse salami. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. Michael's looking pretty really excited. This is red wine sausage. Mm -hmm. uh, two more, here we go. Okay. Reindeer salami. <gasps> Mm. <laughs> I love reindeer. And then we got bacon sausage as well. Bacon. Ooh, bacon sausage, mousse sausage, and reindeer sausage, and red wine sausage. Yes. My gosh. Mm. And we've got a massive cheese board actually. Mm -hmm. I bought loads of cheeses, so we should do a salami and cheese night one night. Yeah, but sausage and bacon are the two done. best things in the world. How yeah. could anyone think about combining them? Boys, <laughs> no, it's going to be amazing. I think the, the, the red wine one. Yeah. yeah. It would be great. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, one one last thing. <laughs> oh, my sister loves this more than anything. Um, so this may be the same, not the same, obviously, but something similar to your English custard. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is uh, vanilla sauce, mm. which you um, probably serve with this chocolate pudding. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we've got a whole Norwegian night coming up, actually. <laughs> yes. It's incredible. Two sentaki down there, and so the very stupid piece for that. What she said. Talk. Well, thank you so much, everyone. It's just been yeah. the most magical Christmas. Just amazing. We've been spoiled rotten. Too much. And thank you. Yes, yeah. And we'll be eating. For the next few days and the, <laughs> 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 the next, yes. next few months. Yeah, yeah, we'll be warmer. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. And Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Thank you. Christmas. Thank you.